Hey guys, welcome. Today we're going to talk about the gene keys. First, we're going to have a little discussion. Why would I want to know about the gene keys? Why do I want to study the system? Second, we're going to have a quick introduction to the whole gene keys profile because it can be a little bit complicated sometimes and a little bit overwhelming if you know what you're aiming for. And third, I'm going to give you a few insights from my own journey into the gene keys path and my own experience with deconditioning. So without further ado, let's move forward and start the video. So the first thing you need to do is get your Gene Keys profile. You can do so at genekeys.com. I'm going to leave a link below in the description. You can enter your birth information with your time as accurate as possible. And you are going to get a chart somewhat kind of like this. And you're going to say like, wow, there's a lot of information, a lot of numbers, a lot of words. It's really complicated. I don't know how to jump into this. Yes, I have the same problem. And that's why I'm uh, going to guide you today a little bit through it. But first, why would you want to study this? Well, for me, it has been a great tool for self-discovery. If you're looking into who you really are, if you are unhappy with where you are right now in your life, maybe in your relationships, in your work, or overall, like, not completely satisfied, if you feel like you're entering a new stage of your life and you want to learn more about yourself to be able to really express and unfurl the things that are inside you, or simply if you really, really want to know more about who you are or who your friends or loved ones are, you can really go deep into this work. Uh, one note that I want to make is that there are two systems that I use a lot to do this kind of work. The first one is human design, which is a very yang, a very practical approach. It gives you very practical tools to act and make decisions in life and tells you very precise things uh, that you can do in a day-to-day -day basics. Um, in this case, the case of the gene keys, it's a more yin approach, it's a more feminine approach, more nurturing and contemplative. It's something to wonder about, to contemplate, to do slowly over like long periods of time to start learning and, and really looking deeper into yourself. So this is some work to do with patients, to do over the long term, you know, like it's not something that you're going to figure out the first day. So if you want to know more about yourself and you want to grow into many of your most evolved aspects, I really recommend the Jinky. Now, how do we read the chart? Okay, let's go straight to it. So when you open the free profile, it's going to look more or less like this. Uh, you're going to see all of these spheres that they have words and numbers, and you're going to be like, wow, that's a lot of information. I don't know how to deal with this. But let's start little by little, and I'll show you how you can study this in the, in the simplest way possible, so you can jump into it uh, very easily. The first sphere that you want to look at is your life's work. With your profile, you're going to get a free audio of your life's work, too. You're going to see that you have a number, like here, the number 23, which is a gene key, is one of the 64 uh, hexagrams. Uh, that they're also in the I Ching. And it has these three words. Yeah, the underneath word is the shadow, the middle word is the gift, and the top word is the Siddhi, or the perfection. I want you to focus more on the first two words, because it's the movement from the shadow, from uh, your most uh, unevolved aspects, into your gift, into the first positive, uh, really gorgeous expression of, of this uh, resonance. And you have to understand that always the shadow contains that gift. It's just the same principle but on a higher octave, a higher resonance. Let's just study this one for instance. Uh, it goes from complexity to simplicity to quintessence. So in my life's work I can contemplate and say like, how does complexity affect my life? Where do I feel overwhelmed? Where do I feel like there's too many things going on, where do I think things are really complex and overwhelming, yeah? Um, and then I can move into how can I make things simple? How can I um, go deeper into this challenge that I have and see how I can find a simple solution? This is a, the gist of the, of the gene keys, moving from the shadow to the gift to the city. And you're going to do the same work on each of the spheres of your profile. Now there's one more thing. It's not just the gene key, but see here it says like point one. It means it's at line one. It's one of the six lines. If you see any of the hexagrams 
right here, you see that it's, there's six lines. The first line down here is the one that I have in my life's work. Each of the lines has a, an archetypical value, an archetypical resonance, that, but it applies slightly different to each of the spheres. For instance, in this case, the line one is always foundational, individual, uh, very creative. Uh, it has to do with deep study, deep introspection, and, and building a solid, grounded foundation. Uh, I can make another video going deeper into each of the lines, and if you go into my Instagram, you can check uh, very detailed in information about each of the lines. It's uh, Luciano Armani. Yeah, I'll put the links also to my Instagram down below. So you have this thing in your life's work that has to do that going from complexity to simplicity, and it's related to foundation, to creativity, to study. So through study, yeah, through, through deep uh, work and introspection, I can turn this complexity into simplicity. This is one deep contemplation that I can do with my life. Just doing the work on this sphere alone can be bringing like huge transformation. But let's not stay there. Let's move to the second sphere. Yeah, the first path is called the activation sequence, and it's these green spheres here, and it's the foundational aspect of the gene keys chart. This first pathway, yeah, uh, goes from a life's work to the evolution. It's called the challenge. So which is my main challenge? Yeah, going from this complexity to simplicity in my life's work. We're going to see here we have the 43, which goes from deafness to insight to epiphany. Where am I deaf in my life? Where am I not listening? This is my challenge. I'm being deaf somewhere. And this deafness, if I transform it by simplifying it, I can move into insight. I can move into a new sphere, a, a new um, octave in my life, like, which can bring an epiphany. It can bring a huge transformation. This is my challenge, working with deafness. And you can see how these are interrelated with each other. The complexity is related to the deafness, to not listening. And that simplicity can bring insight then the epiphany would be the quintessence. Quintessence means like the essence of something. It's the complete refinement. It's the, the ultimate gift. It's the nectar, you know, the ultimate refinement of something. So you can see the work that I, I can do here, going from my life's work to my challenge and making these relationships. And you can uh, download the, the profile and maybe read the book or listen to the audios and do your own work here, your own contemplative work, like, okay, what is the, the challenge that I'm meeting here? And this can be your first step into the Gene Keys uh, program. Then you keep moving into the chart, yes? And it's interesting to note that this, this first two spheres have to do with the mind, and it's about doing. It's about what can I do in my life to make these things work. Now, the next two spheres are about being. It's about the body, it's the subconscious. Yeah, so it's something you embody, it's not something that you're doing outside of yourself. And uh, this is the sphere of radiance that has to do with your inner glow, with your inner vitality, with your, your inner sun, let's say. What, how can you bring that inner sun out? And here you can do the same work that we did before with your own gene keys and looking at the lines and what does that mean? And the same for your sphere of purpose. It's this, what's your purpose in life? But your core stability, that's, that's what this line means. Your purpose, your stability, the thing that is going to keep you centered and moving forward from a grounded, from a good foundation. So this is the gist of the first four spheres, and it's called the activation sequence. Now, I'm not going to go deeper into the activation sequence here. However, I really recommend you to do the activation uh, sequence course from the Gene Keys program. I'm gonna put a link down below in the description. It's really cheap, it's amazing value. Like it really guides you through each of the spheres. It explains all of the lines. It uh, explains all of the pathways and how can you work with it. It has amazing meditations. And also you get the first step for free. So even if you don't wanna buy it right now, you can go and register in the Gene Keys um, site and get the first step of your activation sequence for free. Uh, I beg you, if you 
do so if you're interested use the links down below that have my referral codes uh, in that way I get a small commission it doesn't cost you anything extra but it helps me making uh, more interesting videos like this the second part of the gene keys chart is the Venus sequence and it has to do with your relationships both with your romantic partners your friends uh, your family how do you relate with other people so we're going to move from this sphere of purpose yeah to sphere of attraction how do you attract people into your life how you bring new people and energy into your life and you can go through the same process that we went through in the other spheres and use the keywords and say like how does this affect me in, in my attraction to other people and look at your lines and you can see like how is the lines uh, affecting me in this sense uh, if you go through the Venus sequence program you'll see each of these uh, things explained in detail and I really recommend you to go through it then you have the spheres of IQ EQ and SQ uh, which are your intellectual quotient which is your mind and your thoughts the EQ your emotions and the SQ, which is your spiritual, your, your spiritual core in, in that sense. And you can see how in your relationships you're using your mind and how your emotions, uh, the dynamics, the dynamics of your emotions. You can even ask your friends or your lovers if you want to do deeply this work and choose the, the work from your sphere. Let's say in my case, like deafness, insight and epiphany. Uh, you can ask your lover, where are my emotions? Uh, have I been deaf? Uh, deaf? Have I been deaf to you in any way? Or how have I been insightful emotionally to, to my pattern, you know? And, and also take into account uh, the lines. Again, in the, in the Venus sequence uh, program, you have all the, the detail about this. And then the SQ, like spiritually, in the core, core, core of your being, how does this works, this word like uh, resonate, you know? Like the, the lines and the, the words. And finally, we enter into the last part of the chart, which has to do with business, with your brand, with the service that you're here to do in the world. And these are the blue spheres right here. The first sphere is the vocation. Like, what are you here to do? You know, like, and how are you going to do it? Because this whole Jinkies thing is about how you do things, not exactly what you do, but how do you do it? And look at the lines, you know, like there's a great description in the uh, Pearl Sequence program in which Richard Rudd, which is the creator, explains, like, if you were creating a, a play, which of the lines which will do each of the things? So the, the line one, which do, would do the foundation, would write the script. Then the line two offers uh, value and marketing, sees the script, and this is an amazing script, and then it gets excited about it, and then starts telling, uh, in the line three, you start saying, telling other people, you, you get the actors, you, you organize the whole thing, it gets dynamic. Uh, line four is more about community, service, what service is this, this thing offering, uh, and so on and so forth. Like, who's the, the agent? Who's going to be the marketing people? Uh, and, and, like, what's the, the whole uh, eagle's eye view, which is the line six of, of the whole thing? Uh, then from the vocation, you move into the culture, which has to do with the right environment for you. So what is the right environment for you uh, to develop meaningful business and purposeful relationships? In my case, it's a line one, so it's an individual thing. It's like being alone, but depending on the line you have there, it's different. And also with the color, with the, through the lens of the gene key that we have there. Then the life's work in the Pearl Sequence turns into the brand. And the brand is who you are. You know, think of any famous person you really like, I don't know, Michael Jordan, what, what does he mean? Like drive, resilience, you know, excellence, the best of the best. What does your name mean? What is your brand? What do you stand for? It's like your brand colors, your brand words, your message. It's like your signature, you know? Look at, from, from this perspective, look at the jinky that you have there in the line. How does that affect you? Like how should you construct your brand or your business following this, this deep values and then to close the pearl is the synthesis of the whole chart and it's your final gift and also has to do with the way that you give the service the way that you offer the service the way that you yeah that you give to others in the end in my case it's a line force so it has to do with charity 
then you can look into the lines and see what does that mean. If you want a simple, comprehensive uh, chart for each of the lines in each of the spheres, I have made some amazing content on Instagram. You can follow me in Luciano Armani. I'll put the links below. They're also on Facebook. And you can see very simply and very quickly for each of the lines, what does it mean on each of the spheres. So that was the whole thing. We went first through the activation sequence. This is the first thing you want to study. And the most important is the methodology in the way that I gave you the examples. Then the uh, Venus sequence, which has to do with relationships. And the Pearl sequence, which has to do with uh, service, vocation, business, and money. This can be very deep work. This can take you years to unravel. So do it slowly. Uh, again, I really recommend the programs from the official programs from the Gene Keys. Use the link below uh, with the affiliate links, please, if you are going to buy them. They give me a small commission and it allows me to do more videos like this. Uh, also, if you like this content or if you would like me to explain a little bit more of any of the aspects, uh, please let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel if you really like it. We're going to do another video on human design soon, explaining how to read the chart and how to use the practical tools that brings us. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, have a wonderful rest of your day and thank you for watching.